So next, we want to run uh, or add data, and we want to pass null values. Uh, for example, um, we have some information missing, so we can, you know, uh, write what we have and leave everything blank. So if we, since we were using this, uh, insert into student and all that, so let's try that one more time. This time, we see that this one's the wrong one. We're going to copy just one. Just copy the whole thing. So what we want to do is, we don't know the student name. We can assign her a or him, or definitely we know it's a male or female. Um, so we can do, uh, but we don't know the name. So we can pass null for the time being, or we don't know the date of birth, or you know, date of joining, and uh, what is it, date of birth, date of joining, yes. So we, we're not sure some about something, so we can pass null, it will show up null as there. So in this case, let's say, I do know it's a female, but I don't know if it's a um, uh, what's the name. And for passing null, I don't have to put it in the single code. I can just run it like that. So it can be a null for anything. I should have done with the another example rather than to show you here. But yeah, oh goodness, share. Oh, okay, again this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it one, 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 and this date. We need to fix that format. So let's say 12th December. That's what the error is, and run it. One row affected. If I were to go and run this, uh, select start from student. So I copy it, bring it here, so you will know what's going on. If I am to run this one, execute, it should show me the very last one as null. So I don't have the name and I will do it. So let's try another one. This time we, we don't know the date of birth. Let's see what we can do. Can, can we do it or not? I'm really not sure I'm doing it with you. So this time we know the person name. For example, it's uh, Ali. And we don't we're not sure about the date of birth part. Can we pass null there? Let's see. This time we know the name, we know the uh, gender is male, but we don't know the date of birth. They haven't submitted any documents and we want to save the information so you know at least it's in there. Let's see if I can execute and it says invalid column name Ali. Ah, it has to be in the single quotes so you have to be really careful with that right one rows affected let's run this one again <clears throat> the last one I have the student name gender but I don't know the date of birth so that's why it's saying null so that's how you pass on the null command meaning that it will uh, leave that space null or blank or empty so when you pull that record for Ali, you will know, okay, Ali is missing this information. And if that person has already joined, you can go and get that information from them. So that's how this works. Uh, if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next one.